gender neutral toilets and um, LGBT workshops and uh, participation at pride parades not typically what you associate with a Catholic school was the feedback from pupils and parents and staff alike been uh, it's been excellent um, everybody understands what the values of St Paul's are what our ethos is it's an ethos of total inclusion and embracing of diversity so whenever we there, there, I suppose there's a narrative behind all of that it's just in that particular year I got to know a number of pupils who were LGBT and um, I used to meet them quite regularly and talk to them and explore ways in which the school can become a more inclusive place. Mm -hmm. And this was one of the things that they suggested that it would be a big gesture from the school and send out a very strong message that if you, um, if you go to St Paul's in Bestbrook, it is a safe space for you, it is a very welcoming space and it is an inclusive space regardless of what your identity is, what your gender is or what your sexuality is. Catholic education is not education for Catholics, it is a particular way in which we look at the world where we do believe that every single person has a value in the eyes of God. That is why we do have gender neutral toilets and that's why we do do the workshops and that's why we wear at the Pride Parade. It's just to send out that very, very strong message that in a Catholic school uh, we are very inclusive of everybody and we, we not only inclusive but we celebrate the difference of our humanity. And our philosophy is very, very clearly defined in a Catholic school that it's all about uh, um, you know, the dignity of the child, having respect for each child, being inclusive, understanding that each of that is linked to our values and linked to the fact that we actually love each and every child, it doesn't matter who they are. And that comes from, I suppose, the pluralism uh, that exists within our church and within our, the, the world of, of faith that we have. Um, and we either believe that or we don't believe it. So in the context of all of that, it becomes very easy to understand why a school like ours would not want to single anybody out or not want to, to focus on, on, on doctrine whenever it comes to dealing with pupils who are LGBT.